always find a bit, but it hasn't always been easy. How did you feel when you found out you were pregnant with me? First, I want to say, um, you know I love you very much. In order for me to be on camera, because you know I don't like being on camera, so I'm doing this because I truly love you. And that's the only way you would get me on camera is because you are mine. <sighs> She's so silly. Um, you never made me cry, are you? The question again? How did you feel when you found out you were pregnant with me? We were overjoyed after waiting five years because I did not want to have children, actually. The story is unusual how they found out. Your father got sick. We didn't know why he wasn't feeling well. He was throwing up. And we went to the doctors to see what was wrong with him. Um, how did it come from him being sick to testing you and finding out you were pregnant? Um, they just decided to take a um, your analysis test on me to see if I was okay. Because pregnancy tests weren't available as fast as they are today, it took a few days to receive the results. I remember, uh, I remember being at work. Mm-hmm. And then and she called me and she called me and we're at the building. I think she had, uh, she had an appointment at the doctor's that day. Mm-hmm. She, uh, she called me and told me. We were glad. We were happy. I called my mom and I called your great-grandmother, Elsie, who has left us and gone to be with the Lord. But we were happy that we were expecting our first child and um, overjoyed. When were you told that I was born with spina bifida, and what were your emotions after finding out? It's not a matter of how I felt. It was we were in shock. We didn't know what spina bifida meant until you were born. And um, again, we didn't have any warnings. We didn't know what spina bifida was until the day you were born. My emotion was, uh, why? Why me? Having not um, smoke or drink back then, because I do take a little nip now and then. Um, not doing drugs, not to down anyone, not to say that I'm perfect, but I thought I was doing the right things and being protective of my unborn child and doing all the healthy things that a mother would do when she was pregnant. What have been some of your emotions and things you have gone through each time I had surgery, each time I was admitted to the hospital, each time that I was sick and you didn't know what was going on? My emotions were overwhelming, stressful, questionable. I questioned God. I wasn't mad at God, but I did question him, wanting to know why did he choose your father and I to have a beautiful miracle baby. Um, 
our first child at that. Not that it would matter if, it, if you were the second or third child, but just the first child, young parents, uh, no warnings, um, no classes as to well, your child's gonna be with spina, your child's gonna be born with spina bifida, so you need to go take classes so you'll be prepared for her. All we had was God, our family, and ourselves to rely on. How are we gonna take care of a child that God has given us? And um, no warnings. It was, it was more so just the, the pain that I can see that you were going through. I guess just from associating the, the white gown that the nurse with the doctor was with, it just, uh, of course, you're the baby and we can tell this, uh, what kind of pain you were feeling, but we could see it was painful to me. I'm sure it was. Oh. oh, yeah, that's what it was. The pins in my foot. <laughs> it was, here we go again. I thought everything was going to be okay the first time. You know, you go bring your baby back to the hospital for them to fix your child and seemed like every time we were at the hospital, we were always at the hospital for something. Um, it's just overwhelming. It's not something that you go out and, again, take classes for it and say, okay, this is what you have to do. Although we know the symptoms, we knew the symptoms, and once we saw the symptoms, then we knew it was time to go to the hospital. Do you remember an estimation of how many times I was admitted to the hospital before 20 years ago, like early on? At least, I would say at least five times. One time I can remember is that you had just had surgery because your shunt was not working well. And when I say shunt, it's because you were born with a mild case of hydrocephalus, which is layman terms water on the brain and um you had the surgery they had to actually drill on your brain to put a shunt in place and then we took you home and then the symptoms came again and they had to do surgery again on you how long after a week within a week you had two surgeries, which was very overwhelming. But um, we were, again, we didn't know what to do. All we had were prayers. And I remember calling my mother and telling her that Rashawn had to have surgery again. And I was using a um, phone outside in the lobby by the elevator and um, if I didn't know that were if I if I didn't know that there was a God then I did that day there was an elevator across from me and you can always hear traffic coming through And I had my back turned to the elevator. And yes, somebody could have walked up to me, but it wasn't a, a person's, a real life person who touched me. I just felt that there was an angel from God that was comforting me because my head was down. I was crying on the phone to mom, letting her know that you have to go through another um, major surgery. And I just felt 
something so sweet, so peaceful that I knew it was something from heaven. I can't explain it. I don't have the words. I can only tell you what I felt and how I, what I was feeling during that time. Um, talking on the phone to mom. So, and that was the beginning of my relationship. When I got closer to God is when he gave me you. That's when my relationship started with God is when he gave me you, even though I questioned why 27 years ago, 28 years ago, I'm getting old. Um, I know he's still with me because you're still here. That part gets me every time and I just love her so much for it.